been getting a lot of questions about interior ceramic. Today, we got the answers. All of them. I'm Ivan. I'm Nick. And this is DIY Detail. So, Nick's got a list. We have some interior ceramic. We have an applicator. We have microfiber towels. We're ready to go. First of all, what is interior ceramic, Ivan? Interior ceramic is a ceramic protection for all your interior surfaces. Wait, you can ceramic coat an interior? We can ceramic coat an interior. And why do you want to ceramic coat an interior? For protection. For protection, yes. It doesn't necessarily mean beading. What we're doing is we're encapsulating the carpet fibers. We're encapsulating Alcantara. We're doing the leather. It's not blocking the pores of the leather. It's not damaging anything. It's not preventing anything other than dirt sticking to that product. So and this stuff, I mean, it works. It, it is works. powerful. We're yeah. wearing gloves for this. It is a pro level product. Trust us on that. Yeah. Easy enough to use for the everyday person. Right. So let's get into the questions. All right. So question number one, let's keep it really basic. How do we prepare the surfaces for interior ceramic? Right. First of all, keep them clean. Now, we have cleaned the whole interior of this vehicle with rinseless. The other way of cleaning it or prepping, especially if the car is a little dirtier, you may have to use all clean if you have stains or heavier things to get rid of, but panel prep is great as well. It's what I'm using right now. So we've right. done the initial clean. Panel prep is what we use on exterior paint to prepare for our exterior ceramic coating. Works great in the same regard. You're just clearing up anything that could possibly interfere with the bond. And so panel prep is a way that I really suggest, although not mandatory, again, rinseless wash to prep is fine or, or uh, all-purpose cleaner or all clean. I just like panel prep because I'm wired like that. I want this yeah. to last as long as possible and panel prep's gonna do just that. Right, now if you know the history of the vehicle, you know that no dressings have been put on it, then you're good with rinseless. But if you have any slightest doubt, panel prep. So, question number two. What is the best way to apply it? Applicator, spray, what, what do we recommend? I like an applicator myself. Now, on a large, broad surface, like a carpet, you're gonna spray it on. But if I wanna get detailed, like a steering wheel, like a dash, like a center console, I'm gonna use the applicator. And to use the applicator, I take my interior ceramic, and I simply spray a couple lines into the applicator like that. I love your method where you almost put it on there. Right. So you're not gonna get any overspray. Right, why Instead waste of doing the product? this, you get it right on there. Exactly. Now, another question we've had is, can it be used on infotainment screens? And the answer is yes. So here we go. We put it on the infotainment screen. We make sure that it gets into all the little corners. Let's go around the infotainment screen as well. And then, how long do we let it sit? Wipe immediately. And now that infotainment screen, next time someone touches it, it's gonna be much, much easier to clean. And you may see something and wonder, oh my gosh, is that still there? Everything flashes very, very quickly. And if it doesn't, it is just an easy wipe away. Exactly. You can let this sit for a long time and come back and wipe it. And if for some reason you see a high spot that you're concerned about, all you've got to do is a quick wipe. And if that somehow doesn't move it, apply a little more ceramic onto your towel. Apply it to that same spot, it'll wipe away. Next question, does this leave a mark if for some reason you miss it or if you do half a panel, what's that going to look like? Right, or does it change the color or the, the feel or the look? Let's do half of this. So as it's going on, yes, we're changing the look of this section. We make sure it's worked into all the little nooks and crannies there. Then we take our towel, we let it dwell for a few seconds. You don't have to let it dwell for ages. And then we're going to level it. Now, like a ceramic coating on the exterior, you're not removing it, you're literally just leveling it. We get down into that corner there. And once it completely finishes to cure, there's really no discernible difference. But when you touch it though, it feels silky. Now, it takes a good 20 minutes to a half an hour to fully cure, so there will be a little bit of a line. We we'll probably see one up here, but that will eventually dissipate away. 
what can I put interior ceramic on? And the answer is every interior surface except for inside windows. Because anytime you introduce something hydrophobic, which an interior ceramic, much like an exterior ceramic, will have some hydrophobic properties, you introduce the risk of fogging. And that's the last thing you want is fogging on an interior windshield or any window for that matter. Right, and if you happen to get it on the windows as you're working on the vehicle, don't stress, it's not the end of the world. While it is still not cured, you can use panel prep, just wipe it away. Absolutely, so I just like to have that rag with me and a bottle of panel prep yeah. as I interior ceramic coat. So we said it's safe on everything, but, but someone did ask, is it safe on instrument clusters? It is. Now, we did the infotainment screen. Let's do the instrument cluster. So the instrument cluster, we have interior ceramic on it, on our applicator. We put it on. Let's get the, the little binnacle here as well. The little what, Ivan? Binnacle. What the heck's a binnacle? The sort of the well that your instrument cluster is in. Well, I knew what it was, I just never heard the term. There you go. Hashtag the more you know. So now it's curing a bit. You're gonna go for the final wipe down here. Yep. Wiping off the excess. Leveling the excess. Make sure we're getting into the corners. And there we have it. Nice, clean, and easy to maintain. Of course, we've kind of addressed this, but is it safe on panel black surfaces? Well, first of all, we're gonna panel prep before Ivan gives us a glorious answer. Ivan, I think I know what you're gonna say. The answer is definitely yes. And the other item we can address with this is the wood trim. So we have some, we won't necessarily call it wood, but wood-like trim on the interior of this Lexus, and it's good for that as well. So for our piano black trim, couple on the applicator, and I'm not just gonna do the piano black. While I'm here, I'm going to do the wood trim. I'm going to do the piano black trim. The knobs. The parking brake. The shift knob. You name it, it's all fair game. and even, and this is a, actually a very important one, inside the cup holders. Why inside the cup holders, Nick? I've been told folks spill a thing or two in there. It happens. Then once we let it cure for a little bit, again, we level the coating. Making sure we move all these buttons around completely unsettle the vehicle. So when the owner gets in, well, the seat won't be in the same place. The settings won't be there. Was that a bit of sarcasm, Ivan? No, no, it's real life. Unfortunately, to be able to clean, sometimes we need to move stuff. And Ivan, folks asking, can I do leather? <laughs> yes, <laughs> let's do the leather. So we got the center console here. And the center console is a great area to do. One little thing about leather. Now right now I'm doing the center console. Center console is an area that gets a lot of human traffic, meaning that you're using it as an armrest. Or the steering wheel, same thing. You're driving down the road, this steering wheel should always have your hands on it. Meaning there's a lot of abrasion, there's a lot of contact here. That is what's gonna reduce the life of this coating. On the dash, which basically the only time it gets touched is when someone is cleaning it, it's gonna last the lifetime of the vehicle. On the steering wheel, where you have your hands all the time, it may last six months, could last up to a year. Really depends on the mileage you do with your vehicle. And using the microfiber towel, let's bring it back to the factory matte look. And it's been said before, Nick, that shiny leather is dirty leather. Right. 
So we don't want to add shine to our leather because it's true, shiny leather is dirty leather. So now we've done the steering wheel. It's gonna feel great in the hand and it's gonna stay cleaner longer. And we had to save the best for sort of last. Right. We got a few more, but two questions. How often should I reapply and how long will it last? And I think the first question is, you can reapply it as often as you want. However, the longevity is legit. Right, and the longevity, like we mentioned before, is really dependent on the use. So this car, the owner rarely has anyone sit in the back seat, meaning the ceramic coating on the back seat is gonna last pretty much the lifetime of the vehicle. The driver's seat though, it gets a lot of abuse coming in and out of the vehicle. Therefore, you may need to reapply to the driver's seat once in a while, maybe every six months or every year, depending on the mileage you're driving. And if you have white vegan leather, every day. Yeah, no. <laughs> no not really, but that stuff is... Uh, not an easy thing to deal with. The blue jean transfer as a detailer is real. If you've detailed yeah. the, the vegan leather in Teslas, it, uh, it's almost impossible. So interior ceramic is gonna be great for that, but don't be afraid to reapply it fairly often. Right. Uh, because abrasion, you know, when you polish off a coating or sand off a coating sometimes, right. that's abrasion. Exactly. That's how you remove a coating. Your butt in and out of a seat every single day on leather, that's abrasion. And so, like you said, yeah. high wear areas, you're gonna need to apply it more often. Exactly. But people want a number on longevity. Yeah. Six months or more. Six months or more. How often should I apply? Just answered that. Now, will our ceramic coating, our interior ceramic, bead? Yes and no. So if you apply enough of it, yes, it's gonna bead. Beading is not its primary focus. The primary focus is making the surface easier to clean and UV protection. Beading is a nice little side effect, but again, it's not the be all and end all of interior ceramic. It will beat up on carpets. Yes. It will beat up on shoes. It can be used on both. It's an off-label use for shoes. We're not branding it for that, but a lot of folks like to get their shoes nice and dialed in. Why not, right? You spent money on it. Exactly. Okay, one thing that Ivan wanted to bring up, it wasn't a question, but it's part of the what can I apply it on, and it's a no-no, and it's an area you do not want to apply it on. Right. And it's not windows. And that is? Seat belts. Yes. So the reason we don't want to apply to a seat belt is the same reason we don't want to be cleaning a seat belt, is the same reason we don't want to introduce any chemicals on seat belts. Seat belts are a very, um, <clears throat> seat belts are a very important part of your safety, and we don't want any chemical alterations to this seat belt in any way possible. Now, what we can apply it to, though, is the seat belt buckle, because that has your fingers on it, and it gets dirty. No problem on the metal part of the buckle? No, the metal part of the buckle, the plastic part of the buckle, but the weave of the seatbelt, that we don't want it on. Final question, can it be applied to perforated leather, my friend? Yes, exactly. So, Nick is going forward with the panel prep, making sure that the seat he just sat on is nice and clean. You never know, we've been out here in these detailing streets, I might have made it dirty already. Exactly. And then, now, another question that people have asked though, and while you're prepping that seat, I'll just do this door panel. Can I spray it on the surface and wipe it off? Well, the answer is yes. So I sprayed it on the surface there, and I'm just gonna level it with the applicator, move it around, make sure it's where I need it to be, and then I'll use a towel to level it. Now, the bad part about the spray application is you might get overspray somewhere, which you don't want. The other thing is, it uses a lot of product. So we're not here to make you buy more product. It's just not our thing. So to answer that question, I would say reserve the spraying for carpets. I feel the same way. Depending on your mood, do whatever you want, but use an applicator. It's just easier, Yeah. more control. So applicator, perforated leather. Car seats these days have a lot of things going on with them. This particular car has perforations. It has heated seats, it has ventilated seats, it has airbags, it has occupancy sensors. We don't wanna be throwing a liquid on the seat and just letting it go willy-nilly in those perforations. One question folks are gonna have as well is, can this be layered? Yes. Uh, 
I prefer to do one layer every six months, not one layer six hours later. But if you absolutely want to layer it on your seat, you've got that vegan leather, then actually layering might be good there. Give it an hour or two, add that second layer if you need. And Leveling next, towel, sir? Yeah, so Nick's done a great job on this perforated leather. And I just think it looks phenomenal. It does, and other areas where you can put it on, well, floor mats. Uh, you can put it on the carpeted floor mats. You can put it on the plastic floor mats as well. Now for the plastic floor mats, I highly suggest that you make sure they're perfectly clean and or they're brand new. And if it's a brand new vehicle, you've got your life easy. If you, to me, it should be almost mandatory in a brand new vehicle. If you're a professional detailer, offer this to your customers that are bringing you a brand new vehicle. It's not a long process to do, and your customer is gonna get so much enjoyment out of the interior ceramic, you won't believe it. Another question we get is, does it attract dust? And the answer is no, interior ceramic is anti-static. Right, so meaning that, you know, if you have that party balloon and you, you rub it on your hair, for those of you that have hair, you get static. That's what static is, and static attracts dust. This does not attract dust. It actually helps repel the dust. The other thing, it's not greasy. You don't feel it. The only feel you'll get from it is sort of a silky feeling. So if you have it on your seat, when you slide into the seat, you're gonna slide into the seat just a little easier. And you're gonna smile and you're gonna say, oh my gosh, what have I done to this vehicle? Right. Um, folks may wonder how long after they apply it can they sit in their seat? One hour, give it an hour. Now. Another really, not controversial, but interesting element inside a vehicle that a lot of people are seeing more and more often these days is Alcantara. So yes, it can be applied to Alcantara. It's actually probably one of its best uses because Alcantara gets, especially the ones that have Alcantara on the steering wheel, it sort of gets gummy and harder to clean. This is gonna make it easy to clean. It's gonna make that Alcantara just look and feel spectacular. You know what feels spectacular? What? Watching DIY detail videos. You're gonna wanna check this one out, guys. We'll see you there.